Dr. Sala here, and I did the video yesterday about how Army ran their ABAC influence trap, and they did that when Air Force gave them an even front in the second half of their game last week. But overall, how do they run their ABAC trap? Well, it's really not much different than their BBAC trap, but I'll show you the variations. If you run it on the spread formation, which generally is the way to run the trap, the receiver is going to crack the safety. He doesn't need to block the corner because it's an inside play. The A-back is going to twirl, and he is going to block the second place side linebacker. Now, if there's only one, he'll block that player to the free safety. So if this player is canceled, he'll end up on the safety. If this player gets over the top of the tackle, he'll block him, and then the tackle will veer to the safety. The guard is going to block down. So he'll block the zero, the center. Now, you can ace this. The problem with acing it is that they pop the mic through. Even though the tack was scooping, he might not get there in time. So best way to do it is have a guard block down. And then the center, who usually is blocking back on a A-gap player or a two or three technique, he'll just basically protect the backside A-gap. The backside guard is going to open at 90 degrees. He's going to go down the line. He's going to put his helmet to the left of number one, his right forearm throw him. Trap him and drive him out of bounds while the tackle scoops. The tackle's sprinting to get his belly button through the center. And it's got to go through the center. Make sure he stays flat at 90 degrees while the backside receiver cuts off. Now, the B-back is going to kick out number two. So if you're trapping the guy over to tackle, he kicks out the next guy. So he's going to take three flat steps, step at 45 degrees, get his helmet to the left, right for him, throw him, trap him, drive him out of bounds. The quarterback's going to reverse out like he's running down to the left. The A-back is going to take the inside handoff, and then he is going to break off the tackle and block and vertical and score. So he's going to go off the trap, off the tackle, block, turn up, and score. Then the quarterback's going to carry out the fake. So you're given a great element of misdirection. you got the quarterback reversing out and going that way. you got the A-back going that way. you got twirl motion. For those of you who are into, you know, tr trickery and fooling people and misdirection and all that. Yeah, here would be an example of how you can do that. I know a lot of you guys that want to fool everybody love this play, but the reason why this is such a great freaking play is because you can get everybody blocked. You don't have to block the corners, obviously, because corners are notorious communists, but also it's an inside run play, but you can get every other major person blocked. And you got angles on everybody. You got him in a helpless position. You got two people tracking him. You got him getting trapped. You got him. So in case he wrong arms it, they can't spill it to him. You've got the safety in a helpless position. You've got the back. You've basically, you're canceling the run through because you got the center blocking back. You got the tackle canceling. Man, you got everybody blocked. Plus, you got this guy going this way, this guy going this way, this guy going this way, this guy twirling. It's a lot on the eyes, and that's what makes it a great play. You can't make a living on this direction, but the beauty of Army's A-back trap is you can get all the major people blocked. It is a very efficient run, and with the amount of trap that the academies are running, especially Air Force and Army, the trap is, is it, once you put your B-back trap in, this can really be something that is a glorified tag. So it becomes very less expensive. So that's Army's A-back trap versus the 